Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jordan and welcome to JC's Anime Reviews. And in today's video we're going to be talking about My Hero Academia Heroes Rising. It's the newest My Hero Academia movie and I got a chance to see it a couple hours ago. And I just want to let you guys know what I thought of it. So yeah, um, before we get started with the video though, there's going to be some spoilers. Just want to let you know. So you have to be caught up with the show. So I might talk, say a couple things that might spoil it. So don't watch this if you're not caught up with the show. Um, as for the movie, I will not be spoiling it, except the new characters. There's going to be a couple new characters. There's like five or six new characters, I think, that are introduced. It could be less than that. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about them, but if you don't want to know anything, then don't watch the review. So yeah, also you could watch this movie, um, without seeing the show because they kind of explain the main plot of the show or this world. But I wouldn't watch it if I were you because you should at least catch up with the show. Try to binge watch it or something like that before you watch this. Just You probably wouldn't like it if you just watched it by itself. Like when I went, um, one of my brothers who came with me had not seen the show at all. And he didn't really like it. But everyone else who came with me who did watch the show actually really liked it. So I wouldn't watch this unless you watched the show. So yeah, with all that said, let's get right into the video. My Hero Academia Heroes Rising is about the class 1A that gets sent to this island because the hero there is, I think he got injured or something like that. I forgot exactly what, but they're sent there and they're sent, kind of sent there to get more experience as heroes since they've recently got their provisional license that lets them be a hero for like a little bit or in case of an emergency. So they're sent to this island. There's not really any crime that happens. There's no villains, so they pretty much just help with stuff around the town, like carrying an old lady up the mountain or repairing a tractor, just kind of, just stuff around to help. So no crime. Um, there's no villains or crime until the these villains attack the island. There's like four of them that attack the island. And yeah, so the heroes or the students have to try to protect this island as well as defeat the villains. And yeah, I actually really liked it. I thought it was good. I definitely thought it was much better than the last My Hero Academia movie, My Hero Academia 2 Heroes. Um, the issues that I had with that movie, they pretty much fixed in this one. The issues I had were they didn't show all the characters and the villain was not very good. Like I couldn't even remember his name in the other one. But in this one, they show all the characters. They all have a chance to do something instead of just sitting in a room doing nothing like last time but so i really like that it was just, all of them get a chance to do something and the other issue i had with the other movie was the villain was just he was not very good he was just kind of strong and in this the villain's definitely a lot better he still doesn't really have that much of a backstory they kind of give him a little backstory but for the most part uh he's not terrible but i didn't love him i think that um, they're getting better with their movie villains. Just the reason why I think I liked him more was that I could actually remember his name. His name was Nine. And I think his power is probably the strongest that the UA students have ever fought. Or the strongest villain. So I thought that was interesting. That kind of makes him more interesting just because his power is just so crazy powerful that it just seems like no one can beat him. So I really like that. And... Yeah, they don't really give him much of a backstory, just a tiny bit. And there's a few other villains. There's like three other villains that are also pretty strong. They don't really do give them a backstory or anything either, which is fine. They're just kind of there um, helping this one villain. The other characters in this are good as well, like all the students from UA. Um, they're the same likable characters as the show. So if you like them in the show, you'll probably like them in the movie. Um, there's like three other characters that are introduced that you haven't seen in the show. Except one of them you have seen in the show, but for like two seconds, like he hasn't really done anything. They just show a picture of him and mention his name. So yeah, his name is Hawks. He's the number three hero, or he was the number three hero, and then because of what happened to All Might, he becomes the number two hero. And in this, he kind of just flies around and investigates this villain nine, because before he attacks the island, he was attacking other places. And I'm sure that you've guessed from the name, Hawks, he's, I think he has hawk powers. He has wings and his costume looks similar to a hawk, but he doesn't fight or really do anything. So hopefully we'll get to see him do more stuff in the show. But for now, I'm a little unsure of what, how strong he is. I mean, if he's the number two hero, he has to be really strong probably. 
So yeah, um, there's two other characters that are introduced in this. There are these two kids, this brother and sister um, named Katsuma and Mahoro. Um, they end up becoming friends with Midoriya and the other heroes. And they don't really do much. They're just kind of there and they have to protect them. They Their powers are kind of cool. They don't have any like amazing powers. I mean, they're kids, so they'll probably get stronger as they keep going. And I think my hero has always done a good job with um, like younger kids to make them... like Some kids in anime are actually really annoying, but my hero, I think, does a really good job with them. So they're good in this as well. So yeah, I didn't mind them. So I'm sure that you'll like them as well. The other thing that I really liked about it is I think the fight scenes are really good. There's a couple fight scenes before, like there's like this big fight scene in the end, but there are a couple fight scenes before that that are actually pretty good as well. Um, there's a really good fight scene that I liked with Todoroki. Um, he uses a new move as well. <laughs> if you haven't seen it in the show yet, so I thought that was pretty cool. Or at least I think he does a new move, but. I like that the final battle is just super over the top and crazy, and I loved it. <laughs> so, yeah, it was fun. Just, it's a fun movie. I feel like if you like My Hero Academia, you're gonna like this movie. You should just go to have fun, though. Like, it's not, they don't really progress more with, as characters, but it's just fun to see these characters fight. Fight scenes are really good, so <laughs> if you like fight scenes, you'll probably like this movie. Um,. So overall, I think I really enjoyed My Hero Academia, Heroes Rising. Um, it's the better of the two movies, I'll say that for sure. <laughs> and yeah, the fight scenes are good, characters are good, villain was better than the last one, he's not. He's still not amazing. And the movie I, I really liked, I didn't love it, like I didn't think it was amazing, like the best thing I've ever seen, but it's definitely good. So if you like My Hero Academia, please check it out. So I'm going to give My Hero Academia, Heroes Rising, in a minus so yep thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe um and let me know any other animes you want me to review next let me know in the comments um next week should be less crazy the next few weeks uh, or from now on actually it should be less crazy because within like a week or maybe less than a week i've done four reviews and i should be able to do more anime because I have done anime, but the last three have been movies, so they've been a lot easier and a lot shorter, because you just watch it and then talk about it. Some of the shows have like a hundred episodes, and you have to watch all of them and do a little bit more research on it. So if there are any shows, let me know, and I'll try to binge watch them if I haven't seen it, or try to research a little bit if, I'm, if I haven't seen it in a while. But yeah, it'll give me more time to work on anime. There's a couple that I do want to do. There's one that's ending pretty soon in like two weeks that i want to do uh, i won't be doing that anytime soon so yeah so thank you guys so much for watching um if you like the video please like and subscribe i might have already said that but we're almost at 30 subscribers so i'm really excited to get there i'm really happy that we've got there thank you guys so much for the support uh, it's really meant a lot i didn't think um this would do that well it's ended up doing better than i thought so yeah i'm gonna keep trying to improve these videos work on it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.